The peak wind gusts yesterday were impressive. Point Potrero, I can say that one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, 88 miles per hour. That's right around Richmond. Uh, Oakland's airport in Mount Diablo, 74 mile per hour wind gusts yesterday. Napa and SFO, 65, 64 mile per hour gusts. Golden Gate Bridge, up to 61 miles per hour for your peak wind gusts yesterday. That low pressure area is going to slide to the south today. And as it does so, rainfall going to exit the region. So we are at the very tail end of this now we are in the midst of some lingering mostly light to moderate showers as you can see it's those lighter greenish hues the lighter the hue of green the lighter the rainfall we do still have some yellow areas indicating heavier rain on highway 17 between santa cruz and san jose and over to morgan hill a little bit heavier out there too we got that dry spot where as we mentioned will standing right there getting a nice little break currently uh, just west of san jose flooding risk does continue especially for the south base some of these areas are still seeing heavy rainfall, like the Santa Cruz Mountains, under a flood advisory right now. And a flood warning right along coastal San Mateo County, including Half Moon Bay. Those small streams still got a lot of water pumping into them. Future cast, you can see those isolated showers becoming more and more isolated later on this morning. By the time we reach 11 a.m., we're starting to wave goodbye to this energy as it makes its way out of the region and starts to diminish. We'll see more and more peaks of sunshine towards the tail end of the day today. And then as we move into tomorrow, a partly cloudy but predominantly dry day to be expected. Thursday, a better one for getting outside. Anything you want to get going for there. Friday looking even better yet. Saturday and Sunday even better yet. Now we just saw winter weather advisories expiring for Donner Pass as well as Highway 50. Still holding on to some winter storm warnings from Yosemite National Park south into the southern Sierra. As for our winds, they'll continue to diminish as well by this afternoon. 5 to 10 mile per hour wind guess that's nothing especially as compared to how windy yesterday was upper 50s for your daytime highs today that's warmer than yesterday's mid 50s and we pretty much stay on track with those upper 50s for most areas into the weekend partly cloudy tomorrow and friday with saturday and sunday looking beautiful and sunny nice to see that during the weekend and do enjoy it because as you see monday and tuesday getting wet again with tuesday looking likely to be especially stormy